Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Invin and today I'm back at you again on the same day here But we've just had the announcement of the public test realms by Amazon officially here on the new world page So again, this article will be linked in the description for you guys if you do want to read it for yourself But I'm just gonna go over everything they've covered here about the public test realm because this is very very exciting news And also just wanted to go over kind of that they have said about the void gone in the tweet and you can see it in the picture here it Looks very very cool. So this should be some very exciting Exciting stuff. So it says, Greetings, adventurers. Our goal is to provide you with the best experience in a tournament. That means getting feedback and testing early and often, especially with our players that have provided phenomenal feedback and helped us track down a plethora of issues since launch. We have many new and exciting changes planned for the future of New World, and as part of the preparation, we'd like to introduce a new program, the New World Public Test Realm. Very, very exciting stuff. So the Public Test Realm, or the PTR, is a limited availability server set that will give players an early look at upcoming features. These preview builds are snapshots of upcoming major updates and are not final versions. You may encounter bugs, crashes, missing text, or other issues. Between our internal testing efforts and your feedback, we hope to catch and resolve all serious issues before they reach the live servers. Hundreds of changes have been made and the full release notes will be shared on release day. To help with the feedback process, all newly created characters on these worlds will have the opportunity to instantly level and select level ranges outfitted with appropriate gear and items, which is crazy. So we can test out all types of different stuff. I would imagine you've got access to all of the weapon masteries and stuff there as well. You can test out all types of different armors and things. Very, very cool. By the end of today, everyone with a copy of New World will find a New World public test realm application in their Steam library. Downloading this standalone application allows interested players access access to check out the latest preview version and provide feedback. The PTR or Public Test Realm servers will officially open tomorrow, November 10th. So for those of you guys that are in the UK with me, we're almost into tomorrow already, so it might just be later in the day for us, but it's going to be 12pm PT or 7pm UTC. And the servers are limited. At the start, there will be one world available in US East and one world available in Central Europe. So one world for us all. If you want to get on this early doors, you're going to have to be there when it opens, which means for any of my UK friends, we are at 8 p.m. tomorrow when these servers will open November 10th 8 p.m. for the UK and for anyone in CET so Central Europe you guys it's going to be 9 p.m. tomorrow November 10th 9 p.m. November 10th 8 p.m. for anyone from the UK so make sure you guys are online for that obviously as I say they're limited spots one server to try this stuff out I'm certainly going to try and get involved so make sure you're online for that one when the test period is complete and the main new world game is updated with the previewed content all worlds will shut down and will be wiped clean you will still see the new world PTR application your steam library but there will not be active servers until the next time we announce a test if you encounter a bug exploit or have suggestions to improve a feature or piece of content we'd love to hear your feedback in our new ptr sub forum you can also utilize our in-game feedback tool as well we will do our best to address as much of your feedback as possible before the content update makes its way to our live servers and your participation will help us deliver some awesome content and updates in the future during this iteration of the ptr we would appreciate feedback on the following sub Objects. Now this is where it gets really really exciting before we get into this I just want to say that this is a fantastic W for AGS and New World as a whole Listening to public feedback listening to the gamers listening to the people actually playing the game this is amazing. This is exactly what we needed. It's fantastic. We can test and try the bugs. We can have a go with the new stuff. And as you guys can see here, I'm not going to tease it any longer. The Void Gauntlet is something that they want feedback on. So, the Void Gauntlet has manifested in a turn and manipulate the powers of the Void to support your allies and debilitate your enemies with this magical DPS slash support hybrid. It's the first weapon to scale on both intelligence and focus, making it a great pairing with the Light Staff and other magic weapons. The Annihilation tree focuses on maximizing damage at close range and resolves around the void blade a summoned blade of corrosive void energy the decay tree offers ranged healing and debuffs and revolves around orb of decay a dual phase projectile that can debuff enemies and heal allies with its arsenal of buffs and debuffs the void gauntlet is perfect for group combat and can significantly bolster your allies at the expense of your enemies so you can literally click on the thing here to submit feedback as i say this will be linked in the description so once this public test server is obviously announced released and you're able to play on it you can click here to submit the feedback on it as well on the actual page 
but we've got new missions and mobs as well enemy type this is very very exciting stuff guys new dangers have landed on our southern shores the Varagian raiders have sailed down from the north and brutally carved out sections of each territory to establish a base of operations from war camps on the beaches of first light and monarch's bluff to an entire fort they've captured in everfall faced off against the fierce Varagian hewers Varagian scouts Varagian knights and Varagian archers levels range 16 to 20 as you ascertain their true intentions very very cool they also have enemy variety reinforcements have arrived be on the lookout for new enemies scattered across the turnum such as the withered swarm mancer beetle the lost shaman pirate alligator ancient guardian pyromancers and enhanced corrupted laborers these additions will bring unique combat encounters to our lower level open world experience very very cool again something i'm very excited for new enemy quests what brings these new and ruthless visitors to our shores seek out abigail rose in the wilds of western everfall to get started on one of two new quests available which deal with the arrival of the viragians while their motives for coming south may remain a mystery one thing seems clear this is just an expeditionary force more will come so again hinting at further updates with these for those of you that are wondering about late game content obviously 16 to 24 or whatever it was 16 to yeah 20 is not particularly end game so this should be interesting to see what will come on from that we've also got new legendary weapon quests alongside the release of the Voint gauntlet we're also releasing new we legendary weapon quest series upon reaching level 60 and a maximum skill level with the void gauntlet players should seek out antiquarian abington in reek water to start this epic endeavor Note that you'll need to have completed Magikai's Stragthum in Shattered Mountains and Legatus Fulvius' quest series in Reekwater to qualify. They've improved the main storyline quests. Quests in the main storyline have been improved with new task types and quest variants, including wave events, destructible objects, and proximity nodes for tracking. You'll see some of these as you progress through the story, and more improvements are still on the way, which is fantastic. And this is a big one. PvP missions, faction missions, they've changed these up, so our goal is to add more variety for PvP players and create a balanced experience for players highly engaged with territory control. Three brand new PvP faction mission types have been added. In addition, almost all PvP missions now reset on death rather than being forfeited. Note that poach missions have been removed for a better directed set of PvP missions, thank goodness. No more turkeys, no more sheep. We're going to be seeing some different quests in there, which is really, really good. So we've now got control points. These missions send you out to capture control of the forts which is very very cool makes the forts a much more impactful part of the journey intercept which is defeat enemy faction members and collect their tiers very very cool kind of like dog tag collecting type thing from kind of call of duty anything like that very cool incentive to bring in here and war camp loot which is retrieve hidden plans at the enemy war camp again excellent cool addition really bringing in these kind of settlement places you know the fort the war camp they're out in the open world anyway making them a part of the pvp missions is something i am very excited for so this is really really good now this is a massive one here guys trading post update and as further up than that it says new trading post experience so all trading posts have been linked and are now unified you can buy and sell the same results from any trading post in the world fees from buy and sell orders are defined by the settlement that you are posting from additionally transaction taxes on purchases you make are defined by the settlement in which you are making the purchase items listed in the sell orders that expire return to the settlement from which they were posted we think that this is an exciting opportunity to collaborate more closely with you and we look forward to working with you all on improving new world thank Thank you so much for your participation so obviously bear in mind all of that stuff i've just read out is going to be on the ptr first it's not going into the main service just yet so hold your horses i know a lot of you will be like trading post is ridiculous the void gauntlet's coming out ah just calm it down it's all going into the public test realm first if you want to get hands on with it that's what you need to download that's what you need to get hands on with then it obviously will be coming into the main game once we've got hands on and tested now i'm just going to go over the faqs quickly here just the first part which is going to be how do i access the new ptr and this is going to be everyone with a copy of new world will automatically granted access to the secondary ptr app the ptr is not compatible with the live game so you will need to download a separate client and have the hard drive space required to support it from there we will have special words available within the supported regions not all regions will be initially supported access is on a first come first serve basis and there may be queues so obviously bear that in mind you won't be able to play with your live characters obviously because as they said you can just level them up as you want you can put them to max level give them gear all that kind of stuff there's a ton of other stuff here regarding you know things you can do um 
you know, can you participate in it, what the problems are, etc. So if you guys want to read over this, like I've said before, this will be linked in the bottom. But there's some outstanding stuff here. The communication that's going to be involved with this update is huge. It's a hugely, hugely, hugely exciting step, especially for someone like me that's been so optimistic about the future of the game. This is something I have been dying to see. I'm so excited that they've actually announced this officially, brought it out into fruition now. So make sure that you guys are online tomorrow to make sure you can get hands on with this. Like I said, 8 p.m. GMT for you British guys. 9pm CET for those in Central Europe and again those American guys your time zone is already in this article so you can go over and check that should you want to it's really exciting, the Void Gauntlet's coming we've got some loads of other stuff, the unification of all the trading posts, we saw new enemy types, new enemy variety new quests, new legendary weapon quests with the Void Gauntlet, improved main story PvP faction missions Tons of stuff. So it's going to be very, very cool, guys. I'm really excited. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I brought you guys this straight off the cuff as soon as I saw this. We turned on the recording software. Got recording for you guys so you can get this as soon as it's hot off the press. So make sure you do drop a like on the video down below. It really does help to support my channel. If you are new here and you want to see more New World content, you want to stay up to date with all of the latest updates and news, make sure you drop in a subscribe with the notification bell on us to do upload every single day or like today, multiple times a day if there's news and updates coming out as we see them. So make sure you stick around for that. Other than that, guys, thank you for your time. Thank Thank you for watching and as always take care and peace.